hello and welcome so in this tutorial we will be learning how to write your own blogs slash articles slash meaningful text using a state of the art uh, auto regressive model that is gpt2 okay so this gpt2 is an auto regressive model which means given an input it will produce an output or it will generate an output meaningful output and it will take that output and feed it into the input again so this uh, function keeps on repeating itself and that is why it is known as auto regressive model okay so it is basically used to generate meaningful sentences or text or blogs you can generate anything okay explained in a wonderful way about the gpt2 architecture and and also many different transformer models like bird and others so i will provide the link in the description to this blog so gpt2 is built using the transformer decoder blocks right we, we knew that bert only consists of the uh, bert uh, encoders right it is a stack of bert uh, encoding layers transformer encoder blocks right but uh, if we talk about the gpt2 architecture it only comprises of the uh, transformer decoder blocks okay it is a stack of transformer decoder blocks right you can see here so uh, the way these models actually work is that after each token is produced that token is added to the sequence of inputs right the, that i told you earlier and that new sequence becomes the input to the model in its next step right so for example uh, our input is recite okay so recite will go into this black box that is a gpt2 and it will uh, generate the output as the and then both the uh, the output that is the the word and the recite word will combine and this will treat and this will be feeding as the input right so this is what is meant by auto regressive nature right so this is this was all about the about the gpt2 architecture and for going into some details i will provide the link in the description of this blog so this was was a brief intro to the gpt2 and now we will head on to the implementation of the task so we will be implementing a a block generator okay using the gpt2 architecture so let's straight dive in okay so first of all i will check which gpu i have because sometimes it becomes very necessary nvidia smi okay what is this one time i need to change this gpu so it is connecting again using the gpu session cool now we are connected okay so we got a tesla k80 okay not bad but not good so okay so next step is to install the hugging face transformers library which provide a beautiful package around the gpt2 model so pip transformers so this will install the transformers library from hugging face on a collab session cool i'll just uh, clear the output so next step is to import the uh, gpt2 model and its tokenizer okay so i'll say from transformers <coughs> import import uh, gpt2 it's lm head i think something lm head model and gpt2 tokenizer cool okay from transformers oops i missed the comma so next step is to actually initialize our tokenizer and our gpt2 model okay so we will say that token oops tokenizer is uh, gpt2 the lambda model and i'll say gpt2 large model okay because the large model will enable us to generate more meaningful uh, sentences and um, model will be gpt2 element model oops it should be gpt2 tokenizer dot from pretrain okay dot from pretrain the same one gpt2 large okay and another argument i need to pass is that so at token id should be equal to the uh, end of sentence token id and that comes from the tokenizer that we have defined just above it so tokenizer dot end of sentence token id so that is just required for this model okay whenever you are generating 
sentences. So this will download the tokenizer and the model onto our Google notebook, Google Collab notebook. So yeah, this is a huge model of 3.25 gigabytes. So it might take some time to download. Mm -hmm. Okay, so after the uh, downloading of the model and the tokenizer, let's get to the, uh, let's just take an input example uh, of what we will be generating a blog or a meaningful text, okay? So let's just say input sentence is equal to, um, let's say, will artificial intelligence take over the world? Okay, so this will be my input sentence that will be fed as an input to the uh, GPT-2 model to generate a meaningful, you know, paragraph or blog, you can say, or an article. Cool. So next step is to generate the input IDs of the input sentence, okay? But now, what do I mean by input IDs is that uh, we will create the uh, integer values of each word, okay, according to the uh, GPT-2 tokenizer. Cool. So also the input IDs will be equal to uh, tokenizer dot encode uh, my input sentence and I want PyTOS tensors okay return tensors SPT cool now if I print my input IDs should be equal oops not did not IDs cool right so as I said that will corresponds to index or id number 8743 artificial corresponds to this and so on cool nice next thing is to actually generate our text now okay this is the cool part so we will say that output is equal to um, model dot generate and here we will pass the input ids and maximum length you can specify the length here as um, i'll say 100 you can also experiment with this max length parameter. Next is num beams is five. So this is basically uses the beam search algorithm. So it is really a great uh, decoding technique which is used in language models to produce meaningful output rather than using just old greedy method. Okay. So uh, you can also experiment with this value. Okay. I'll just take this as default as five. So next parameter is. Uh, <clears throat> no repeat and ground size is let's say two so what this parameter means is uh, it will not uh, let it repeat uh, any two words okay again and again so this will uh, try to suppress that so the last parameter is early stopping is true okay? this will basically ensure to stop when the model keeps generating the repetitive output okay output okay so let's run this in and generate our output and this may take some time as it is uh, using heavy processing cool okay so our output is finally generated and let's just see what we get output okay so this is just a matrix of uh, token ids okay but uh, now we need to decode the generated output this one okay so we can use the same tokenizer that we used to encode our input sentences. Now this would be used to decode our output. So, okay, so I'll say that and tokenizer dot decode. I'll say output of zero because it's a two D matrix, right? We want the second uh, index, right? Matrix pool. Output of zero and skip. So special tokens is true because we don't need any special tokens in the output let's run it and and here we have our output sentence or text you can see so i ask that will artificial intelligence take over the world so now the generation happens okay so it's a question that's been on the minds of futurists for a long time and it's one that we are going to have to answer in the non too distant future but there are some things we can do right now to make sure we don't end up in a world where artificial intelligence takes over. Here are a few things that we will help us that will help us prepare for the day when AI takes control of our lives. Isn't that amazing, guys? It is it is greatly uh, you know generated and uh, text which actually makes sense, right? 
So this is the power of the almighty GPT-2. Cool. So this was all for this tutorial and I hope you enjoyed it.